Hello Capricorn, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out if you like the video, as it does help my channel. It circulates the video also so others can see the messages that they need to see. I want to remind everyone it is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you. So those of you that it doesn't completely resonate with, take what does resonate. That's yours. Leave the rest behind. Don't forget you can check your moon rising and Venus sign readings as well. That will give you a big, broader, more well-rounded view of the conversation between you and spirit. This is a reading for um, what the next chapter in your life is bringing. Okay, So I want to intuitively interact with you here at the end of the reading. So I'm going to draw three door, Divine Doors cards. You need to intuitively choose one of them because on the back of the card is a very specific message for you from Spirit. So we're going to pick those now and like I said, we're going to see what they are at the end of the reading. Okay, door number one or doorway number one. Oh boy, this one has shown up in just about every reading. Door number two. And door number three. Okay. So. Try to choose your door before we get to the end of the reading, and then you're ready to go. Okay, first card out. This is the Star Tarot. Wow, this is beautiful. Seven of Cups. You are going to have options, my friends. I don't, like normally the Seven of Cups is about having to make a decision. And be careful what you wish for and choose wisely and all that. I'm not getting that for you. The message that's coming through for you is you're going to have a lot more options than you've had in the past. This new chapter brings many, many choices for you. Many good choices. Eight of Cups. Okay, and the message very clearly coming through with this one is those options are going to allow you to walk away from a past that no longer serves you. Look at her. It's like these don't eat these cups down here don't even count for anything anymore. She's too busy heading for wish fulfillment. This star and the rainbow. She's gone. And this is you. And isn't it interesting? It's seven of cups to the eight of cups. You're you're climbing, you're raising, you're moving forward. You've got a dolphin here. You've got a white dove. This is all about luck and love, good fortune, happiness, bliss. So, yeah, see you past. You're headed for something very, very big, Capricorn. And it might just be a king of swords. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, if it is a person, it could be a king or queen. It is the energy of the king, okay? The energy of the king of swords is truth, honesty, valor, I'm hearing. This guy lives from a place of integrity, but he also, he's, he's always at the ready, so for me, this is telling you, get ready, because whatever's coming in, it's, it's going to be big, huge. So get ready. I want to point out, look at where the light is behind him here. This is all about you being enlightened, you raising up, you growing, evolving spiritually, psychically, intuitively. Yeah. Six of Swords. You are moving forward to such a beautiful place. Such a beautiful place. Look at this. You've got the, the uh, orcas here. 
This is beautiful. So beautiful. You, you know, here, the message is coming through for you because it's killer whales. You're going to be killing it <laughs> when you get to your destination, wherever it is you're headed. You're going to be killing it. Not, I mean, okay, please don't leave comments that, you know, you can't kill things or people. It's That's not what I'm talking about. But you are going to be so successful. You're going to have options. You're moving away forever from the past. You have worked so hard to get here. So hard. It's been brutal at times. That That's what you're leaving behind. The hard times gone you're being taken to a place of prosperity luck good fortune abundance happiness bliss love if i didn't already say that bottom of the deck now part of your overall energy wow the emperor this is you killing it you are going to be so large and in charge of your own life see the black and white horse they are opposing colors of, and they represent opposing energies, but they are not opposing each other. They're not opposing anything. They too are standing at the ready. Whenever this emperor is ready to jump on one of them, both of them, you know, if he's got a chariot behind him there, whenever he's ready to go, they're ready to take him. Everything is at the ready. Everything. This is what's coming in for you. Everything is right now being readied for you once you head in that direction be ready get ready because this has been in the works it's already in the works it's already there it's waiting for you wow <laughs> oh wow Ooh, your energy i mean look at these cards just looking at them sitting on the table all of them they look absolutely magical, mystical, beautiful, especially the King of Swords. If this is a person for you, Capricorn, and you've been waiting on them, you're moving in their direction. It's time. Okay, we are going to get uh, some cards from Lightseer's Holographic Deck. Now, on top of the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups, you have the Queen of Wands. Look at her demeanor. She is ecstatic. She's found the truth. She has found the magic in her life. She knows now. She's got that knowing. She is sexy. She's sensual. She's loving of life. She's caring. She's giving. She's loyal. And she is happy beyond. She's got that ace of wands and she is ready to go. This is a new beginning for you, Capricorn. A happy, happy. Like I said, you're moving towards your, your dreams, your wish fulfillment. And that's where she's at. She's there. Okay, on top of the eight of cups and the king of swords, you've got the three of swords. The Eight of Cups told you all about just dropping these Eight Cups and moving on because you're moving on to something so much bigger and so much better and you are being guided. You've got this little porpoise here and this bird which is in the Seven of Cups as well, right? You're being guided. No more. No more heartbreak. That's what you're moving away from. When you move away from the Eight of Cups, this past, whatever's not serving you any longer, you move away from the heartbreak. King of Swords and Six of Swords. You have the Five of Pentacles. This is someone feeling very rejected and shoved aside and ignored and not wanted. Someone that was left behind. 
again it's on the king of swords get ready because where you're moving to it is so much better than where you're coming from i want to point out you've got the eight of cups on one side of the king of swords and the six of swords on the other so this is the beginning of the movement forward and then on the other side of this king of swords you kind of are look at you're in the calm waters already asleep resting relaxing after that hard hard climb the heartbreak the rejection it's no more it's no more let these go this is the past this is part of what you're releasing okay get into this ecstatic about what's coming kind of mode because you are leaving all of this behind you had this you were heartbroken in the past you felt rejected left behind that's not going to be anymore and this king of swords could be the person that did this to you but it's not going to be the same it's changed it's changing you're moving into someplace better either with this person or with somebody else but be ready for it because it's coming in oh, bottom of this deck part of your overall energy the fool this is the beginning of your journey and look at her she's leaning back she's got a wand in her hand but it's not attached to anything she's leaning back but she's not falling because the universe has her back the universe has your back allow yourself to move forward because you are going to have so many options so many beautiful choices this bird look at i'm going to show you this you probably already can see it but i'm going to show you anyways it's the same bird in both cards you're being guided to a better place but you got to let go of the past and part of that past is the heartbreak and and the rejection well the rejection caused the heartbreak but you got to let it go if you're going to move forward you've got to let that go okay now we're going to go move on into gaia oracle Okay, Queen of Wands and Three of Swords. You have card 17. It breaks down to an 8. This is about your abundance. Achievement. Keep focused on your dream. Stay here in the positivity of the Queen of Wands. Don't go down this road. That road is done. It's gone. It's going to be buried. You're not going to experience that anymore. Okay? that's what you need to walk away from do you see that the the three of swords is on top of the eight of cups also like i said the eight of cups king of swords get ready because you're moving into something new let go of these the the and i'm hearing i keep hearing resentment this is rejection but i keep hearing resentment so it could be that you're finding your pl yourself in a place of resenting the person or the people that rejected you and caused your heartbreak that resentment is going to hold you back got to let go of it it's negative you got to get into that that positive state if you want to achieve the dreams that you've been dreaming stay focused on your dream and, and that'll keep you positive do you see what this is achievement queen of wands and seven of cups this is all of your options that are coming to you beautiful options okay now on the three of swords and the five of pentacles you have card number two which breaks it, it, it is broken down it's number two it's all about duality relationships partnerships moonlight goddess repressed emotions healing and reflection yeah resentment i'm hearing resentment 
You might not even know that it's there. It's deep inside you somewhere. And it's based on or stems from someone that rejected you and caused you a lot of pain. You're resenting them. And, and I feel like whoever you are that this is in regards to, you haven't worked through that feeling. That resentment is still in you. That's the only thing you got to get rid of in order to move forward here in this next chapter. Okay, let's get an Island Time Wellness card. Okay, on top of achievement, staying focused on your dream and repressed emotions or Moonlight Goddess, you've got Hand of Cards. Take a chance. That is the fool. Taking a leap of faith. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hand. Gambling. You are going to be asked to take a leap of faith. That's very obvious. Taking charge, making the decision for yourself, taking that leap of faith. You will have options. You will have. You're going to have to take a leap of faith, though. Meaning, you don't know where you're going, where you're landing, where it's taking you. But Spirit is telling you it's taking you someplace beautiful, someplace better than where you're at with the heartbreak, resentment, and rejection. Right? Okay, now we're going to get a Synchronicity Oracle card. Take a break. Some of you might be heading for a holiday. <clears throat> Some of you need to take a holiday. But I feel like for most of you, especially if this is your story, your situation, just take a break. Take a break. Take a step back and just get yourself centered. Focus on your dreams. Think about your dreams. Daydream. This card got left behind. Surrender to the process, which is exactly what you're being asked to do. Just take a break. Allow all of this a little bit of time to play out for you. Because eventually you are going to have to take that leap of faith. But do you remember in this first row here, the King of Swords being all about be ready? Because this is going to come in. It's coming in fast. Okay? So get yourself ready. Surrender to the process. Take a break. Because when it comes in, you're going to need to be ready for it. And I feel it's going to, it's going to be something that comes in fast and it hits hard. But not in a bad way. You know, it's not going to come in and be painful. It's just, it's going to come in. It's going to be all of a sudden. And it's going to be one of those wow moments. So you need to be well rested and ready for it when it hits. It's going to be very big emotionally for you because both of these cards are in water. Right? Water is all about emotion. Okay, we're going to get a Just Ask Oracle card. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. It's really important. It's come out twice now. You've got it. Basically, with the Queen of Wands, it was about staying positive. 
The achievement card was about staying positive. Did we have it somewhere else? No. Stay positive. It's really important that you stay positive because that was a very common message throughout your reading. I think it came out like three times or more. Just try to stay positive. That'll help. Okay, now we're going to get Whispers of Love. Card 39 breaks down to a 12, which again breaks down to a 3. This is all about your evolution and your growth, your spiritual and intuitive growth. Be authentic, be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And that's the Queen of Wands. She is that person. You have so much beauty and uh, the abundance and the prosperity. It's on every level, Capricorn. It's happiness. It's love. It's finances. It's everything. You just have to work this little area right here. And actually, there probably isn't even anything you really need to do except, except stay positive. It will clear itself out, I feel. But you have to let it. You have to surrender to the process. Because by surrendering to the process, part of that process is clearing the repressed emotions that are there, the resentment. Now, it might not be resentment for all of you. That's what I was hearing. So probably a large number of you have resentment. And like I said, you might not even realize that it's there. Okay, let's get to the doors. Door number one. You chose this card, this door. Your message is Divine Guardian. Don't be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Yeah, see? You don't really have to do anything except surrender to the process. Okay, if you chose door number two. A door that shows up in just about every reading. The message is deeper. You're not finished. You're not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is yet to come. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Capricorn. You're almost there. You've got options opening things up for you. You are moving on from the past, the old ways, the hurtful ways. Get ready because you are being taken to someplace pretty fantastic. Just stay positive. Door number three, if you chose this one, your message is palmistry, fortune and tarot, collective destiny. The palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry. Wow. And then at the bottom it says, listen to the notes of intuition. Go get your palm red. At least that's what I'm getting from this. I would go get my palms red. There's something there that will give you a message. Okay, I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you can or need to do, be, think, and or feel to move through this. Get out of this old repressed emotion of resentment for some of you. For others, it's just repressed emotion, whatever that might be, and heal it so that you can move on and get to that place of total happiness, total bliss, being in control of your life, in harmony, in balance, and willing and able to take that leap of faith and just moving with the process. We're going to do that in the extended Click on the title of this video to drop down my description box. That's where you'll find the link. All the decks that I've used are listed down there. Okay. Those of you that are going over, 
I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time.